When making changes to scripts in Unity, it is always wise to use version control software to manage source code changes. It allows changes to be tracked, reviewed and approved, and if necessary, rolled back. In this video I'm going to show you how to use Bitbucket to manage the code of a sample Unity project. It won't be the entire project folder that is managed by Bitbucket, only the folders that contain scripts. So let's get started. I've created an empty Unity project. Under Assets, I'm going to create a folder called My Scripts. I'm going to create a script called My Simple Script. I'm going to create an empty game object and just attach that to it. Run the project to make sure that it's working. That's fine. So I'm going to double click the script. When it opens in Visual Studio, go to a terminal window and open a developer command prompt. And then navigate to the scripts folder you've just created, assets, my scripts. And we want to initialize a git repository. So the command for that is git init. We also want to add anything that's in that repository and then just do an initial git commit so going to bitbucket I've created a free account so once you've done that come into repositories and click create repository Select a workspace. Okay, so once that remote repository is created, get the URL, go back into Visual Studio. To do the following command git remote add origin. So that sets the remote repository to the URL. I want to just pull down anything that's in there already. Git pull. Finally, git push origin master. Okay, so that should push everything within the my scripts folder up to the remote repository under the master branch. So refresh this. Yeah, so we can see that the script that was created earlier is there with the commit message. So open that. You see it's just an empty script. So going back into Visual Studio, I don't want to work from the master branch when I'm doing any code changes. Uh, I want to work from a branch that I've that I've created. So in order to do that, I'm going to type uh, the git checkout command. Check out B. And then just give it a name. So 
So I'm working on the branch now called Some Script Changes. So I'll just make some changes to my simple script. Delete the start method. So I'll just open up Unity, give that a test. Okay, so that script is now running. Uh, so even though I've saved the Unity project and I've saved the script, the changes won't be reflected in here. Because I haven't yet committed them. So or push them, should I say. So I'll go back into Visual Studio. I'm working from the some script changes branch. So I want to say git add all again. I want to do another commit message. I did a counter function. And what I want to do now is git push set upstream origin and some script changes. Okay, so if we're now going to Bitbucket. We can still see that the, the master branch is unaffected, but if we're going to branches, we see the one that I've just created, some script changes, 38 seconds ago. So if I go into this branch, we can see the message. And yeah, we can see the changes that have been made. So based on that, I want to approve these changes. So I'll create a pull request. I won't make any changes here. Uh, well, except to say close branch. So close some script changes branch after the pull request is merged because I, I won't need to see it anymore. So check that, create pull request. Yes, yeah, so these changes look fine to be merged into master. So approve and merge. Okay, so I'll go back to source. And you can see that master now contains the changes that I've made, including the commit message. Okay. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, uh, just leave them below and I'll get back to you. Thank you.